Big Travel Channel offers travel video guides for more than 20 cities in Asia, US, and Canada. If you like our travel videos, subscribe to this channel to see more. Welcome everyone to Hip Fix Travel Guide Series on New York City. Today we're going to be discussing public transportation in New York City. So keep watching to get around New York City easier and economically. The Metropolitan Transportation Authority, or MTA, runs the subways, buses, and commuter trains in New York City. The New York City subway has 24 subway lines. Routes are identified by letters or numbers. These routes serve Manhattan, the Bronx, Brooklyn, and Queens. Many subway stations are designed so that you can cross the platform to change from one route to another. For information, look for the station agent booth. Station agents can give you directions and a free subway map. Although the subway operates 24 hours a day, not all station entrances are accessible at all times or have full-time agents. There is a customer information center bulletin board near the main booth at every station. You'll find a subway map, train schedules, and information about changes in service. When you're in a subway car, conductors make announcements for the next stop along that line. Be sure you're traveling in the right direction, uptown or downtown, and check the subway map. Every subway car usually has two maps posted on either side of the car. The newest subway cars have strip maps that show stops along the line, a digital readout of the upcoming stop, and a mechanical voice that announces the current and next station. Need help with directions? Call 511. It's available 24 hours, 7 days a week for assistance. The MTA discontinued the use of tokens in the subway. You may purchase a single rider ticket at the vending machine using a credit card or cash in most subway stations. You can buy a Metro card, a reloadable card, at vending machines for a dollar in subway stations, subway station booths if available and open, and local convenience stores with the Metro Card logo. The Metro Card is a reloadable card used to pay for rides on the New York City subway, New York City transit buses, the MTA bus, Nassau Inner County Express System, PATH, Roosevelt Island Tramway, Air Train JFK, and Westchester B's line bus system. The MetroCard offers a slight discount on fares. If you plan to be in New York City for more than four days, then get a seven-day unlimited MetroCard. Another option for public transportation is the MTA buses. They have 233 bus routes. Bus stops are located at street corners and have a sign with a bus symbol and route number. Most stops also include a guide ride near the bus sign pole with a route map and bus schedule. A few bus stops have vending machines where you can purchase tickets or you can pay by exact change on the bus or by MetroCard. If you pay with a MetroCard, you can transfer free from local bus to subway, subway to local bus, or local bus to local bus within two hours from entering your first bus or subway. The destination signs of the bus are on the front. Buses marked limited make fewer stops. When you want to get off the bus, push one of the tape strips located between the windows or one of the stop buttons found on the grab bars of the newer buses or signal the driver to stop. If you don't mind paying a bit more and don't want too much hassle figuring out the subway system or bus lines, consider a hop on or hop off bus tour. You can hop on and hop off wherever they stop and usually all stops are near major tourist attractions. You can also rent a bike through private companies or through a rideshare kiosk uh, called City Bike. Renting a bike is a great way to tour Central Park. For short trips around the city, taxis are available throughout Manhattan.
Happy travels! Go to hipfig.com for more information or go to our HipFig Travel channel on YouTube and be sure to subscribe for regular updates.